Setting up AWS for local development is way easier than you probably think it is. First thing we need to do is go to the AWS homepage, assuming you've already logged in, created an account, done all that stuff. That's very trivial. You can do that on your own. What you need to then do is you need to actually go in and get your security credentials because what we need to set up is local credentials to actually run the SDK. So we're gonna go into security credentials here. We need to make sure we have a couple things set. So once this loads, we have all our basic information up here. And what we need to make sure we have set up is we need to get a multi-factor authentication thing set up here so we need to make sure that you have um, MFA on and then we need to create an access key so I already went ahead and created my access key if we go here and we click on this we'll just say yes it's okay to create a root key this is for development and getting things set up if you're going to scale this to a larger org and try and do this in real life you want to set up good security rules but for now we can just do a root key to get this uh, working for a sort of hello world type thing so we'll say yes then create the key I'm not going to do it because I already have one but you'll just get take it in just say yes with the defaults and then when you get that out you're going to get a key ID here this I can show publicly but then this will have a secret attached to it so make sure that you just keep those open and you have those ready because we're going to need those in a moment the next thing we need to do is get the CLI installed I have instructions I have the docs linked down below uh, just go into whatever platform you have I have Mac OS it's super simple all you have to do is just use a GUI installer you just click this link get the download go in follow it do what it says just hit next 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 and then at the end of it you'll have the AWS CLI once that's done you should be able to go into your terminal and do AWS uh, or just do which AWS and you should have an AWS CLI in here and now we need to go ahead and actually configure this once again I've linked the docs for this down below but the only command you need to run is AWS configure and I will go ahead and run this and then this will go ahead and say you need to put in your access key I already have one in here so I'm going to say yes then you need to put in your secret key once again I already have one in here I'm going to say yes we need to put in our region name uh, you can figure out what your region name is based on you can figure out what your region name is based on this. If you go to the top right of AWS, you can see a list of all of these. For me, it's going to be US East 2 because I'm based in Columbus. Uh, so that makes the most sense for me. So I'm going to be using US East 2. And then my output format is just going to be JSON because that's what I like. We hit enter and we're done. And now once we do this, this will create a really nice little directory for us. So we go to our home and I do cd.aws. And then if I list out here, I now have a config file and a credentials file. I'm not going to show you the credentials file because that has my secret, uh, my secret key stuff in there but if I do cat config, uh, you will see that I have US East 2 and JSON. So all that stuff is now saved. And now whenever we try and run our AWS SDK from Node, Go, Rust, whatever framework or language you want to use, it'll pick this up and allow us to use it in local development. So with all of that done, it is set up. It really is that easy. It is way easier than you would think. And now let me show you a very, very quick example of this using S3. As I usually do, I went ahead and made the source code for this little example public. It's linked down below as well. It also has the instructions on what I just did in the readme if you need to reproduce this but basically all we need to do is we just go ahead and we're just going to connect to a bucket we're going to list out all my buckets and then print out the uh, objects within those buckets if we go over to my s3 instance over here i don't really have anything important on this account uh, my work account has more stuff but this one i don't really have anything so i just have showcase bucket bm davis and then this slide 43 this is one of my thumbnails so i can just go ahead and do go run main.go and then it's going to go ahead and pull all this stuff in. So it's going to pull in my bucket and pull in the object. All of that works exactly how you'd expect it to. And you see up here when we do config.load default config, that's actually going to be pulling out of that dot .ado dot aws dot config file in our home directory so with all that set up we can now go ahead and develop and run this and if you need to take this pr to production you can just switch these to environment variables look that up there's a great guide on aws for that that's about it if this helped you out make sure that you guys like subscribe do all that stuff and i know this is super short i'll have more long form stuff over the next couple days i'm pretty sick today so can't do all that much and uh yeah